हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर फैसल वेलकम टू माय चैनल बाय ओशन क्लासेस टुडे इज आवर फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑन सिंप्लीफाइड मेडिकल कॉन्सेप्ट्स इन आवर टुडेज वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग पार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ होमियोस्टेसिस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट होमियोस्टेसिस इज अ ग्रीक टर्म मीनिंग स्टैंडिंग द सेम इट वाज कॉइंड बाय कैनन व्हाट इज होमियोस्टेसिस होमियोस्टेसिस इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ बॉडी to maintain constant internal environment internal environment which is also called as milieu interior means body temperature ph blood pressure blood glucose and osmolarity internal environment does not change with external environment so homeostasis is the ability of body to maintain constant body temperature blood pressure blood glucose and osmolarity let's take few examples to understand this concept first is body temperature our normal body temperature is 37 degrees celsius whenever body temperature increases body activates sweating mechanism which brings body temperature back to normal and whenever body temperature decreases body activates shivering mechanism which brings temperature back to normal so our core body temperature is maintained in the range of 37 degrees celsius second example is blood glucose our normal random blood glucose levels are less than 180 mg per deciliter whenever blood glucose increases body releases insulin which brings back blood glucose levels to normal whenever blood glucose decreases body releases glucagon which brings blood glucose back to normal so our blood glucose is maintained in the range of less than minus 180 mg per deciliter next is ph of blood normal ph of blood is between 7.35 to 7.45 7.35 is venous blood ph and 7.45 is arterial blood ph whenever body ph whenever whenever ph of blood increases body produces more acid which brings ph back to normal and whenever ph decreases body produces more base which brings ph back to normal think why venous blood has less ph than arterial blood now if we discuss what is the significance of homeostasis homeostasis provides optimum temperature and ph for the functioning of enzymes thus increasing efficiency of organism what are enzymes enzymes are protein molecules which are also called as biocatalysts these enzymes they increase the efficiency of organism because they increase the speed of body reactions and these body reactions are also called as metabolic reactions what are metabolic reactions metabolic reactions are sum total of all the reactions in our body they may be formation reactions they may be destruction reactions formation reactions are also known as anabolic reactions and destructive reactions are known as catabolic reactions example of anabolic reactions is atp synthesis and catabolic reactions is digestion all the formation and destructive reactions go hand in hand to achieve the function of metabolism enzymes help in increasing the speed of metabolic reaction but the enzymes work only at specific temperature and ph which is called as optimum temperature and optimum ph of the enzyme and this optimum temperature and ph is maintained by the homeostasis process if the temperature is changed the enzyme cannot work and this decreases the efficiency of organism think why enzymes work at specific temperature only till now we have discussed what is homeostasis and what is the significance of homeostasis now do all organisms adopt homeostasis well the answer is no why because homeostasis is highly energy dependent process and all the organisms cannot afford it so 
food organisms which can afford homeostasis they are called as warm blooded animals and the organisms which cannot afford homeostasis they are called as cold blooded animals let's make a quick comparison between the two in cold blooded animals homeostasis is absent and it is present in warm blooded animals in cold blooded animals body temperature and body activities change with external environment but it do not change in case of warm blooded animals cold blooded animals are also called as conformers and warm blooded animals they are known as regulators example of cold blooded animals are reptiles and warm blooded animals are mammals reptiles including the human beings cold blooded animals the activity is less in case of winter and their activity is more in case of summer let us sum up what we have discussed till now we have discussed what is homeostasis significance of homeostasis anabolic and catabolic reactions enzymes and optimum temperature warm blooded and cold blooded animals this brings end of part first of homeostasis how is homeostasis achieved and how is blood pressure regulated by ras system will be continued in part second of homeostasis ask your questions in comment section below if you like this video then share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe thank you